Hi, Lee here from Trading College. On this video, we're going to talk about ADHD. Could you be trading with ADHD? Now, quite reluctant to do this video. I've been thinking about it for several weeks, whether to actually put a video and some slides together for you. But I thought if this could help you or anybody else to become more profitable traders, then why not? And another reason is because I've got a couple of mentorship students that do have ADHD. And uh, when we're doing our mentorship, mentorship sessions, it's so obvious uh, what's holding them back to become uh, really profitable traders. They can see the strategies and they miss trades and they miss, one of them missed 100 pips today because maybe ADHD held uh, him back. But really, I wanna talk through a couple of slides here around trading and trading with ADHD and hopefully it can help you and if it doesn't, well, you know, there's nothing lost, is there? And if you've got any comments, then I'm sure um, you can add to this. Uh, whether this video is going to be any good, I have no idea. Um, or how is it going to go down on the trading channels? I have no idea. Um, but I've looked all over the internet around trading with ADHD and I've seen nothing. And I thought I would give my two pennies worth around it. And because I've been coaching um, students for... Uh, traders to become profitable traders for many many years now um, you know I've seen all sorts of personality and all sorts of challenges with people um, so why not you know put something together here and also personally I think you know there's no doubt that uh, I have ADHD as well and um, so uh, maybe I can share some of my experiences with you. Okay, all right, so let's just dive into um, what is ADHD? It's Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It's not just about um, you're too restless, you can't sit still. I mean, that's the, I suppose that's what everyone thinks ADHD is, you can't just concentrate. And yes, of course, it is about concentration. Uh, but let's look at some of the symptoms, the other symptoms here of ADHD. And then we'll get into what it means for you as a trader. Um, so impulsiveness, okay, doing things uh, impulsively uh, is a symptom of ADHD. And I've just got these symptoms uh, off of the web, gu web guys because they're pretty spot on. And I'm sure you probably, if you if you think you've got ADHD, I'm sure you can add to these uh, symptoms as well, this list of symptoms. Poor time management. You see, I, I, I have really good time management. If I, I get stressed not being on time, I'm there an hour early. I'm there 20 minutes early. I get stressed when people are late. But poor time management, I, I don't have a problem there at all. Uh, disorganization and problems prioritizing. Yep, okay. Uh, problem focusing on the task, maybe a big one in trading. Excessive, excessive activity or restlessness. Poor planning, you need a, you need a bit of planning in trading, I think. Uh, low frustration tolerance, okay? So there's some there, you know, the symptoms of ADHD that you might relate to. And I'm sure there's, as I said, I'm sure there's more on the list um, symptoms here that you could very much uh, add to uh, this list now so somebody living with ADHD or somebody who's got ADHD what sort of things does it affect in your everyday life or well, getting dressed in the morning it is hilarious getting dressed in the morning because um, there's times when I cannot finish um, put I put one sock on and then I'm doing something else putting a t-shirt on before I put both of my socks on um, and, you know, cleaning my teeth with half dressed. It's just so, you know, not completing the task really before I move on to the next task. And, um, you know, my family are very much uh, uh, sympathizers and we have a good laugh around it as well because, you know, it's, it's, it's a, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. I'm not sort of like, I'm not ill or anything like that. My health is good, touch wood. It's just something that I live with. But more importantly, let's get back to what it's all about when it comes to trading the markets. Now, traders, you guys and girls that are trading out there, do you get overwhelmed with trading? Okay, because you're just looking at so much. You're bringing so many variables into your trading. And sometimes it's just simple as buying support and resistance and making 20 pips a day. You know, you're just looking, bringing so much into your trade, reading books, 
to to think that you need more knowledge going on. We'll talk about courses and stuff, but you know, just try to just keep things as simple as possible. We want to. We feel as though we've got to learn more to become better traders. And I think a lot of people are nearer mentally being a successful trader mentally at the start of their trading. So if you can go back to remember what mentally you were like at the start of your trading, where you had no history, you had no baggage, you had no losing trades, you never blew out a trading account, and just think, you know, you traded freely, I'm here, and that's what you really want to trade like. So let's not try and get too overwhelmed, bringing too much information into your trading. And that's one thing I'm really good at. I keep it really simple. I coach simple um, strategies and I coach and I keep it simple. Some people cannot believe how simple and how I stick to the strategy and I'm done while somebody else is looking at this variable, this this market, well, this market impacts this market. What does the Federal Reserve's impact say tonight? Um, news announcement going to be for the markets? I don't care. I'm just trading the strategy. Got to keep it simple, guys. Struggle to stick to a strategy. You know, um, the Holy Grail, the hunt for the Holy Grail. And I think, um, you know, it's this variety with ADHD, isn't it? You, you get bored quite easily. And so you move on to the next thing. So it's jumping from strategy to strategy. And the gentleman that, um, I won't name names, but the gentleman that I'm coaching with ADHD, you know, I told him we've been working together for about three weeks for the whole 12 months. It's, we're into it three weeks. I taught him this great strategy made some very nice profits and suddenly we have our one-to-one -one session today and um, he's looking at another strategy I'm like what why why you know stick to this strategy and I'll give you some tips in a minute to how to improve I think if you when you you know as traders if you've got ADHD but um, you know, just stick to the strategy see if you can stick to a strategy for a certain period uh, randomly trade okay so one strategy here there's a setup over there on the euro dollar. Here's a setup here on gold. Uh, here's another setup on the DAX. Here's a trade signal here on the euro sterling. You know, or you're just randomly taking, you don't have any strategy, you're just randomly taking lots of different trades. And then you've looked back and you've not done any of them well at all. But you're just randomly trading and not sticking to a trade strategy. You have no daily routine because you get bored with your ADHD. You want to move on. And so having a routine is really important, but maybe you've got no routine whatsoever. And so you miss loads of trading opportunities and you're not really taking it maybe as seriously as you should be. And I take that with tongue, as I say that in tongue in cheek, but um, you know, maybe have a routine. Move from course to course. This is really interesting because when I do, um, when Trading College um, has a stand, at uh, one of the shows in London or up in, in the North England, um, you know we've been doing it for for you know 13 odd years attending those shows, those trading shows. Same people go to them all the time. Might be you might go as well. And I see friends and I see the same sim, uh, familiar faces, and we and I talk and um, and I ask them, how's your trading getting on? And some of them say. I haven't started yet, I haven't found the right course. And I said, but you said that five years ago. And they're just still looking for that holy grail. And they're at the same place they were five years um, before that. And I think also, um, you know, some people will go on a course and it's not enough and it hasn't given them what they want and they jump to another course and they just, uh, there is a word for it and I can't think what it is, but they just are um, course seekers and they just jump from course to course. Now I think that's okay if you want to seek education to not learn how to make money trading. I think you've got to stick, um, you've got to, you've got to filter, and you've got to be really narrow-minded when it comes to trading. Simple strategies, simple routines. If you keep on building on it, it's this, it's this variety thing again, isn't it? Where you're trying to find different courses, where you're trying to go on another course because that's not enough, and you didn't give that a chance to work because it's probably a brilliant course, but it didn't work for you. Then you, that variety of going to another course again, and you know that boredom of not getting bored, jump from course to course, course seekers. All right, so you know maybe the course that you're on is really good now. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing training college a disservice if you're if you've done another course. Maybe you should come to training college and try us. But there you go. I just want to try and help you uh, be a better trader. Um, have a problem focusing. 
this is where I struggle um, with my trade in the morning, but I've done a lot of work here to make me improve and be a better trader and, and, and do well. So it's all about the focus, okay? Now, there is um, something called a mobile phone, and right here, and uh, you know, for, if you've got ADHD, you wanna go and see variety, you want to scroll, you want to social media, you wanna get on Instagram, see what the latest golf swing and tip is, you know, bored again, and you know, you, you could miss a trade that's setting up, uh, but if you're scrolling, and uh, you know, you've got the radio on, because you don't mind noise, if you've got, with somebody with ADHD, you've got noise, um, you can multitask. You've got noise coming in from the radio, um, and you could have, I don't know, somebody talking outside your office, and you've got the cat and the dog around you. You can deal, you can multitask, you could deal with all those things. Um, but what about a bit of peace and quiet, maybe? Uh, a bit of silence, and do yourself a favor, and just have that uh, peace and quiet. S get rid of the phone, guys. Put it in another room, okay? And um, we'll talk about little tips on the next slide, in fact. But, you know, I... Um, I, I need that. I need to make sure the phone's away from my trading desk when I'm trading in the morning session. Um, continually checking emails because I have several businesses. Uh, I check emails, and um, it's so great when I don't check emails. Now, what I do now is I don't have a to-do list. I have all my things I've got to achieve for the day in my calendar. So my task, my challenge for the day, is. They're all blocked out, and it's how well I stick to doing that task within that period of time in my calendar. For example, trade in the mornings blocked out every morning besides Friday. So trade in the morning, 6.30 to 9.30 is blocked out, okay? Then, um, then rest time, break, 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 break. And then, you know, I might do something on the business from 11 till 12. And I cannot do anything else besides 11 till 12 is concentrate on that task that I'm doing that I put in my diary. I've got no checklists or to-do lists whatsoever. They just don't work whatsoever. But I block everything out in my diary. And my staff know and my team knows that they can't interrupt me at certain times. And then I have an, a time within the day where it says check emails, check emails. So it might, I don't know, it might be, uh, for me, it could be, for you, it could be whenever, early in the morning, it could be your first thing, but for me, it's like 10.30, check emails. Then 11 o'clock, do the business work, and then lunch time, and then one till two, it's pre-market um, preparation. And then at four o'clock in the evening, uh, afternoon, it's like, you know, you're, maybe recheck emails and see what's going on or speak to somebody and, and, and or whatever and you've got to eat remember as well so get rid of you know make sure you check your emails at a certain time during the day don't just scattergun it like now if i was doing this i'd just check the emails why because it's boredom that's why if you have adhd you, you get bored quite easily miss trades all the time are you somebody that miss trades all the time because of all these challenges that are happening in your life um you're going to miss trades now, if you're not like, if you know, I'm experienced enough to know that there's another trade around the corner, but if you're new and you've got ADHD and you're scattergun, your day is just all over the place, then um, you will miss trades, you'll get frustrated, and it will be very painful for you, all right? So make sure that you, you, uh, you uh, think about some of those guys. And if you're, you know, I'm sure the list can go on and on and on and on. We can talk about it all day long. All right, have no trading plan. Most people that, um, you know, for me, when I started, having a trading plan was the most boring thing in the world. Writing something down, deary me, you know, having a trading plan, deary me, no, no, I don't need a trading plan. Most people with ADHD will find that so boring, writing it down, getting a pen and paper out, paper out and writing it down. Now, I don't believe, and I've seen a trading plan uh, from a coach about 10 years ago, it was 350 pages long. He was probably a high C personality where it's so much detail, detail, detail. Not probably worked for him, but for somebody of ADHD, there's no way you are going to want a 350 page trading plan. Maybe you do, I don't know, but I, I don't see that, I don't see that, okay. Um, all right, make sure you get a trading plan. 
one page, that's all. We have a one page trading plan at Trading College. We keep it really simple. All right. Have too many indicators on your charts. Overwhelm on a chart. I mean, that is, you know, your skill level is all about the charts, isn't it? How good are you at trading comes, part of it is all technical analysis and the strategy. But if you are overwhelmed with so many signals on a chart, so for example, the MACD's crossing, but the stochastic is not overbought, oversold, and then, I don't know, the Bollinger Band is doing this, you will get so overwhelmed and you will get conflicting signals on different time frames. The daily chart will be doing one signal because all the indicators have matched up. And then the one hour will be conflicting that daily and you'll be, oh my God, what's going on? Um, you will you know, not have a clear path all right, to make a decision of what to trade, You know, a clear trading signal. Get yourself a naked chart. What I mean by that, take all your indicators off your charts and then build it back by having one of them on there. Might be a MACD. Oh, we've got our own proprietary indicators here at Training College. But it, I don't know, it might be a MACD. You start with that and then just get the rest of them off. Even the moving averages, and just start with a MACD and just test it and then build it back on gradually. I do that quite a lot. I just take the indicators off and then just start from scratch every like six or eight months. Do you get frustrated and lose confidence? All right, frustration is, as I said on the very first slide, you know, you don't have that um, a tolerance with a bit of ADHD. You lose frustration, you get frustrated really quickly. And with the frustration, you can lose confidence and get angry and so on. Not particularly myself, my own personality to get angry, um, but it might be for you and, you know, that needs to be controlled. All right, so let's just take a little look now. We've spoken about a few things when it comes to trading. Let's talk about um, stuff that can help that can help a trader that's got ADHD. Um, and why not start with a commit to a challenge? I love a challenge, especially a health and fitness challenge or a, a golfing challenge, okay? Commit to a challenge, maybe a 20 trade, that's, that's the wrong spelling there, it says 20 traders, it should be 20 trades, or 30 days. Say to yourself, right, okay, for these 30 days, I am going to A, B, C, D, do this. For these next 20 trades, I'm gonna to stick to my trading strategy and see if I can do it. Remember, ADHD, we want, we want variety. All right, so we, this is gonna to be tough. We're gonna to stick to one trade um, trade strategy, maybe in, even in one market. That would be so challenging. Don't make it so painful. Maybe start with three markets. Euro dollar, Euro yen, I don't know, New Zealand CAD or something, whatever the market you, you feel um, comfortable with. Commit to a routine, all right? So this is something I, I do, I've done, and you know I wanna trade the morning move. So we've got young kids, um, we've got family at home, and so I want to make sure my door's closed. You know, 6.30, uh, you know, I, if I make my money before half past eight, I can take the kids to school, but look, I'm, I'm, this is my time, guys. I'm, this is what I do for a living. I'm here, I'm gonna trade the markets from this time, it's blocked out. Um, please don't interrupt me, all right? I love you lots, but please don't interrupt me at this time. Tell your family, if you're trading from home, that you know this is something you wanna do for the rest of your life and you, you wanna get a good income from it. Please don't disturb me. It might be in the evening time. You might be swing traded in the evening. And so you might uh, want that you know, when the time where you're sitting on the sofa watching TV, you, that might be there might be an hour break in there where you're swing, uh, you're scanning the markets for your swing trades. Tell your partner or your whoever, and and um, and just say, you know, this is the time I'm I'm not uh, going to be watching TV. I'm going to need to do this and put some trades on. Go for a walk. You know, split the day up. Don't just be here all day long. One of our students has made an incredible um, return in the markets. Started with 2,000, he put 27,000 in a trading account, he's up like nearly 400,000 uh, in a year and a half, he is flying. You know, he's doing really well, we love him to bits. He trades all day long, and his wife says to him, come on, let's have a life. Um, that's fine, okay, but he's there from seven o'clock in the morning to like five o'clock at night, and he knows it, but he loves it, and he's making loads of money. You know, the more you, the more experienced you become, you wanna take breaks and get out, do some exercise. It's not healthy sitting on the computer all day long. 
Turn off all distractions. No scrolling, guys. No social media looking, okay? Okay, I'm bored. There's no setup. You're going to miss trades. No emails. No emails. No WhatsApp. All right? Move the phone into another area. Oh, my God, that's going to be so hard for you. But stick it in a drawer downstairs. All right? You could do without the phone for two hours. It doesn't matter. Clear your desk of clutter. Um, yeah, make it like... You will love that. Once you clear it of clutter, it frees up your mind. It frees up, um, you know, your focus. You will feel really good once you clear all your desk. Get rid of all your paperwork. Spend a day catching up with all your paperwork that you need to get done. All right, and and come in with a fresh mind, um, because when the when the desk is full of clutter, it it doesn't do any good for your psychology and very much for your positivity for the day. Reduce your watch list. Don't look at so many markets. Start with those challenges of looking maybe at three markets only. Yeah, put some alarms in your charting package and trade those three markets. Don't trade with loads of like 100 of, you know, FX pairs in there or 100 stocks or whatever. Just start with two or three. You can make a living for the rest of your life trading the dollar yen, the euro dollar. Just one market for the rest of your life. You could trade one market, all right? And if it goes quiet for a period of time, jump to another market. Then you've got another market you trade to. But you could trade those markets and become an expert in one market. Imagine you being the expert of the euro dollar or the DAX or gold or oil. Use one, maybe two trading strategies, all right? Don't get overwhelmed um, about different you know once you get really good and your skill level goes up then you'll you'll be able to trade different types of strategies but while you're learning and you've got ADHD stick to one maybe two trading strategies follow your strategies the best you can commit to 20 trades so have a reduced market list maybe three markets have a reduced strategies like maybe one two strategies start with one and then do 20 trades 25 trades, 30 trades, just taking that strategy in that market. And then see at the end of the 20 trades, how much money and how many points or return or percentage return you have made in that period of ch uh, the challenge. Okay, once you come to the end of that challenge, do that. Order trade, place stop and profit targets. I love this. I teach this all the time. Place in an order. You would make more money if you let your trades run or you left your trades alone instead of faffing around with your trade. So let's say you place an order, you've got your strategy, you've got your buy signal, you place your order to buy at a certain level, you place your profit target, maybe a two to one or wherever it is, and your stop loss in place. If you've got a good strategy, it will make money. Okay, and you'll probably make more money by not even looking at it, the, the trade, or even focus, hyper-focused looking at it, then um, th th if you walked away. So if you walked away and just let it play out, I'm sure you've made more money when, when you've been sleeping and when you woke up the next morning, your trade's done really well because you've never messed around with it. Do some order trading. Stick to the orders. Know your strategy. Know where your stop loss is. Know your entry. Know your profit target. No, you're risking that percentage on the trade. And then let it play out. And do your best, put your hands behind your back and do not touch the trade. You don't get wiser when you're in a trade. You don't get wiser. You become this uh, unconfident, oh my God, it's going up, oh my God, it's going down. Is it gonna do this, is it gonna do that? We just don't like human beings, we just don't like that uncertainty, do we? All right, so that will help guys, place those trades with orders. And I love it. It's just, it's just, uh, it's an amazing thing, and um, it works really, really well. Put your trader's hat on at every session. So let's say you're coming for your morning session, trading session in the morning. Leave yourself, you leave you out there, and just bring in your trader's hat, and bring you in as a trader. You are a trader. I'm going to stick to my strategy. I'm going to stick to my money management rules. I'm going to let the trade hit its profit target without messing it up. I am now not me. I am a trader. I am the trader that does this, okay? And just leave all your history outside the door. And it's really hard to do that. 
put your trader's hat on. Stick to your train strategy. Promise that you're going to stick to your train strategy. And um, and because otherwise, with somebody of ADHD, you're going to be, I, I guarantee, I don't know whether you've done this, I've done this, put a trade on, I'm in a trade, and then I look for another trade over here on my other screens. And then I look for another trade over here. I've done that. Um, because I'm bored with this trade already. All right, so I want to look for another trade. And I'll look for another trade. All right. I don't do that anymore. I used to do that. But get your stop to break even, then look for another trade. Because you don't want this trade that you're in now to stop you out, okay, when it's making a nice profit because you've gone over to another trade over here and then you've taken your eyes off the ball. Put your traders out on, guys. Most important thing, preserve your trading account. If you do not have a trading account, then you cannot learn and you don't, you can't make any money. And maybe, you know, you just you just want you know, there's so many good traders out there that just are not trading anymore I'm sure because they just didn't preserve their trading capital they blew out over risks too much too much variety too much fun they're gonna make loads of money no stop loss in place you know didn't didn't cherish uh, their trading account and and protect it like a, like a family member or whatever you know just make sure that you have that trading account still intact so you can learn you don't have to trade every day. That's going to be hard with somebody with ADHD. Um, but, you know, it's all about capital preservation. And if you can do that, then you can keep on learning. And then you can just bingo. You just get it. And then you just learn from it. And, you know, you suddenly get in the flow. And um, and, and this has happened to me, but not me personally, to a student. Um, I've turned traders around that have been... I would say never made a penny in trading anywhere else they've been and then they come to myself and I've taught them trading and spoke and coached them and mentored them and they've done so well and after three months they've just now literally have been consistent for three months now and then they go and do something else they want to find another trade strategy <laughs> or they want to go and find do some more maybe now they want to trade stocks instead of FX or they want to do option trading instead of whatever because they're bored. So the question is, you're really up against it with ADHD. All right, I hope this video has worked and the, the content in this video. It's gone for 27 minutes, wow. Um, it's something that's close to my heart, I suppose, and with students as well that have got it, it's just, I thought it would be okay to talk about. I'm no doctor, I'm no psychologist, I'm just a coach um, that's been through a lot when it comes to uh, and the mindset and the psychology. And um, I hope it helps. Leave comments uh, on the um, section down below. Uh, put the thumbs up for a like if you liked it. It helps us grow in our channel. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys, because we're going to do loads more videos like this. And come and trade with us here at Trading College. And uh, if, you've got a, if, you want, if you want to email, email the office and uh, maybe, maybe come and uh, do some trading with us. And, see what we're all about. Okay, speak to you soon. Take care.